What's going on guys? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another match preview for you guys today. Arsenal versus Chelsea, Boxing Day, big London derby. I got Robbie, AFTV, you guys already know the Don himself. Thanks for jumping on first. Uh, Ian as well, representing Chelsea. Thanks for jumping on. Guys, link to Craigo's channel will be in the, in the link down in the description below. And it's also going to be on the title. So literally just press Craigo 28 Football will send you straight to his channel. But also, before we start this video, if you guys haven't done so already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, press the bell notification button. You already know I'm going to say this anyway. But if you guys haven't done it, please press those buttons already. It will be massively appreciated. And let's go straight into the preview. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Arteta versus Lampard again. And right now it's looking 1-1-1 one, one, one so far. One win to both. Obviously Arteta in the bigger stage, which I can respect. But it has been a massive drop-off for Arsenal as well since then. And we have spoken about it a couple of times. We are going to have to drop it in again this time. But what has gone wrong for Arsenal this season? Everything. <laughs> in a nutshell. <clears throat> Everything, like, off the pitch, you know, um, when the whole COVID thing came in, Arsenal, negative press about laying off staff, laying off coaching staff, um, players having to take a pay cut, refusing, absolute mess behind the scenes. Um, then we've got a lot of players in that team that their contracts are, are up at the end of the season. They try to move on a lot of them in the summer didn't really happen, you know what I mean? So you've got guys like Ozil, Socrates, obviously disgruntled, they're still around, Mustafi, you know what I mean? A lot of these guys that basically at the end of the season they move on, there's been some poor transfers. Your guy Willian, you know what I mean? <laughs> being one of the, the main ones, um, he's been poor. You know, Cedric from Southampton has not delivered, you know, he's hardly even played really. And, it's just been, I mean, we've made a couple of good signings in Partey. Gabriel's been brilliant. Gabriel uh, Magalis, who's come in, he's been excellent in defence. Partey has looked good when he's played, but been injured. Mm. Now Aubameyang's injured. So, and then we've had a very off form of Aubameyang. It's basically been the guys that have carried this team for, for a little while now. Because as Arsenal fans, we've all known that there's major investment needed. And it's been coming for a while. This has been coming, it's been coming, it's been coming, it's been coming, but we've won an FA Cup, we've done this, we've done that, we've averted that, averted that. Someday, it all just comes at once, and that's mm. what's happening to Arsenal now. Although, even with that, um, this is terrible. I mean, I've never... <laughs> you ever, didn't expect something like this. No, I've, I've never seen Arsenal like this. Um, you know, the amount of games we've lost at home in particular, it's just been shocking. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we don't go into that Chelsea game with any confidence whatsoever. You know, our home form has been terrible. Tough times. You look I a depleted man, or <coughs> You look a depleted man. Well, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm not a defeated man. I mean, I understand in football that, you know, you get your ups and downs. It's a very tough time to be following Arsenal at the moment. But, you know, I just look at it and say, you know, this is football, man. You've got to take these rough times. But what I really want to see from our owners now is them. I, I, I said it the other day, I was doing like a video on our channel, I was saying that sometimes you have to hit rock bottom mm. before mm -hmm. you can come back up yeah. again. And there's been a lot of teams, you know, if you look at Liverpool um, five, six years ago, they hit rock bottom for a club of their size. And now look at them, they've come back from it. It's whether we can do that. You know, I've seen Chelsea hit rock bottom. I've seen Chelsea be down. Remember there was one season when you guys were down. Like I, was, I was just talking to Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and yeah. you know, obviously, you know, you, sometimes when you get to that level, the wounds are open. Everybody sees it and everyone can say, well, that guy ain't good enough and he ain't there and that needs changing and we need to spend money and so on. Mm. Yeah, Craig, I was going <coughs> to ask you about Arsenal as well and it is looking really bad for them right now, but do you think Mikel Arteta could be given that time to try and turn it around? See, I, I, unlike half the people on AFTV, I actually think he should be given the time. I, I think that he is a, a good manager, and I think what Arsenal have been trying to do for the last, you know, probably two, three years, since pretty much you got Emery, you're, you're trying to replace Wenger. But that is so hard to replace, you know, what he did for, su for such a long period of time. And I know in the last, like, the latter years, he didn't necessarily do too much and whatever. Um, but still a, a great manager. And I think really what Arsenal need to do is Arteta should they should pretty much accept that <coughs> Arteta is not the guy that's going to you know 
we said earlier, mm. winning the Champions League, winning the Europa League, doing all these kind of you know mass things. I don't think he's going to be the guy for it to restore Arsenal to former glories. But if he can steady the ship, then I think he's all right. And it's I think steadying the ship at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But, I, I, but I have to say, you know, I I do think a lot of the the impetus. I know he's done terrible things and terrible decisions and whatever. But I do think all the impetus has to be on the players. I just don't think they've been good enough. Um, the, the worrying thing about that is that the players like that can turn it round. William didn't necessarily have a great season for us last year. We played Tottenham just before Christmas, scored two goals. Everyone forgot about everything he did in the first 15 <laughs> games of the season. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of thing that could happen you know, on Boxing Day. Um, and it's, it's really annoying that that's the thing. And obviously, a, being a preview about the game... I would be completely stupid if I said that there was not a chance that Arsenal like that turned it on completely and they did come home and really, really come out and try and you know get us. Whether they win is a different matter. But I mean, the form they're showing at the moment, if they need, if anything's <coughs> going to give them that confidence boost, they need a win against us. Because um, I think you were saying earlier, you, you've got your next games are like West Brom, Brighton. Mm. You don't play big. You don't play a big side until uh, you know a little bit. Yeah, down it might the be line. a bigger match in general, right? Now, yeah, the, way exa- the tables looking. Exa- exactly, but you know, there's all there's so much that can go on with this game, and I really think that Arsenal need to a big kick up the arse. And I think that if Arteta gets it, I think definitely if the players get it, then Arsenal. I mean, they could be going absolutely fine. We were saying just a second ago. 15-16 season. It wasn't too different to what's going on between us and you now. Um, but we were... Lower ne- side did the double as well, so let's hope yeah. they don't strike twice. Yeah, but the thing is, is we, that season, I don't think we were ever considered relegation candidates. So I, don't, I don't think anyone ever looked at them and went, oh my God, it's I remember that bad. there was one point after that yeah. Bournemouth and the Leicester game, it was looking bad. But the I, same point this season, in yeah, fact. Yeah, uh, and, and I think the main thing, you know, I don't think Arsenal are going to go down. I, I don't think they're going to mm. go down at all. But you've just you're you, talking about going down. I know, Arsenal, but, but but this is the thing: is you do. There's no way you can deny it. You need to kick up the arse, and this is the perfect opportunity to do it in a London derby at Christmas. Got a I don't know if it's 100 percent perfect, but you've got a nice run of games until probably mid Jan. I think I saw. Um, again, if you go and win uh, win Saturday and then put. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six, seven games together. Manage to all be wins or maybe a couple of draws in there. You're flying up the table, you know. Less was it second with five losses mm. or something like that. Mm. You know, it's this season especially is so mad. Anything can happen, and I think a kick up the arse for Arsenal would be a win against us. And who knows where they could end up? I don't think they're going to win it, Robbie. Unfortunately, to be the bearer of bad news. But you know, you get, you get a European place. That's very possible. Completely possible. Yeah, and what are your thoughts on Chelsea for the season? I did want to talk about that. We haven't really delved into it in much of the other videos, but looking at, because I know the start of the season, and I'm only saying this in general as fan bases, with the results that we're having at the start of the season, the, the, especially the games against Liverpool being 3-0 down to West Brom, the Southampton game, <coughs> a lot of fans had us down as potentially top four race, even less than that, potentially not finishing in the top four. But I do think Frank Lampard has turned it around since then. There have been a couple blips here and there, but I was still expecting down the Frank Lampard as well. But what are your thoughts on Chelsea this season? <coughs> um, it's been a weird... They're, they're up and down. You know I mean, one minute they're hot, then the next minute you look at them and they're like... You know, they've been up and down. I think, I think they'll definitely get top four this season. I, I think they should be um, title contenders this season. Mm. But for some reason, I don't know, they're, they're still beatable. Yeah, I, I, you know, which is strange. I, the, I remember watching that game when they lost to Everton. And I was like, oh. I mean, it was it was a weird weird one. You know, what I mean, yeah. I think they've got all the talent in that team. I mean, when I saw the business that Chelsea did in the summer, I was like, bloody hell! <laughs> you know, this is, this is this is serious. You know, what I mean, I, I mean, Havertz, Ferner. Yeah, Roman. I, I, play, I do. Man. I do think it does take time, though. You know, what I mean, I mean, I know a lot of people have been criticising Werner, Havertz, these sort of guys, right? But it takes time, man. You're coming into a different league. It's different type of, you know, pressures, different type of players. It's going to take time for those guys to to really show their best. But I think, you know, they're putting the work in. And I think Chelsea will be title contenders. I really do. I don't think they'll win it. I still think Liverpool are the, are the strongest team out there. Mm. Um, and with Lampard, I don't know. He's, again... I'm not going to, you can't criticise him for the work he's doing. It's, it's like, 
it's too early to even judge him at the moment. You know what I mean? I, 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 you need to, I need to see a full season of Lampard. You know what I mean? I need to mm. see what he's going to do against your Liverpool cities and those teams home and away before I can start judging him. But certainly, if I look at the personnel that Chelsea have got, they should be competing for the title. No, 100%. I still think it's a bit too early for them to win it now. Yep, yeah, um, that is perfectly on <coughs> I think most Chelsea fans come into the season just wanted to see us compete. Me personally, I could see us finishing around third, maybe second on a good season. But yeah, Liverpool do look like favourites, even with all the injuries yeah, I think, that they have. Yeah, you could team like Liverpool. The thing is about it is that it's a well-oiled machine. It's like, mm. you know, they haven't had to bring in loads of new players. It's, it's, the, it's the same... Once Marnay, you get that system Salah, sorted, yeah, you got, can yeah, interchange. Yeah. So you can bring in a little one guy, Jota, who's been brilliant, but you know, yeah. you can bring in little, they bring in little one, you guys have brought in a load of players. That takes time for that to gel. But I think with the quality of the players that you have brought in, if it gels, you'll have a good season. Mm. All right, well, um, just to wrap things <coughs> off, we'll go me. for score predictions. Ian, we'll start with you. I, I'll stick with my two now. I'm going to stick with it, but this game has got a potential banana skin written all over it. Um, so yeah, two one, even a two two or one one, something like that is very possible. But I'll stick with it. I'll stick with a two 0 Chelsea win. Yeah, a lot of Chelsea fans are massively worried about that banana slip. But Robbie, <coughs> do you see that happening? Go banana or? skin, man. Two one to us. <laughs> two one to us. You know what? Slip. I respect the confidence. <laughs> I'm going to go for. I think without our wing uh, fullbacks, because Chilwell and James are right, it might be a bit more of a tougher game than we expect. But I still think I see a two nil game. Maybe maybe a three if we can really turn things on, but I'll stay humble. I'll say for a 2 0 for now. But <laughs> guys, this is the end of the match preview. I hope you lot have enjoyed it. Robbie, thanks for joining in Cheers, as well. Man. It's always great to chat about football. You're very level headed. Craigo as well, thank you for jumping on Cheers, as well. Man. If you lot appreciate this content, please leave a like and a subscribe down below as well. And we will see you guys very, very soon. I hope you lot have a very Merry Christmas and we'll see you on Boxing Day. Take care and up the Chelsea.